Good morning all. My name is Dr. Gauri. I am the founder of Brand Biomass LLP. My startup is research and development of biomass-based UV filter sunscreen for anti-aging and anti-skin cancer. Do you think people are happy with the present product? According to my customer validation survey and also the re recent research article says no, people are not happy with the present product because of the skin allergies. So this kind of skin allergy is happening due to the present branded sunscreen product. And why it is? It is due to the presence of UV filter. The purpose of the UV filter is to uh, it has to absorb the all UV radiation from the sunlight. Do you think this UV filters are stable under the UV radiation? No. It actually the UV filter, the small chemical, the chemical molecules of UV filter is not stable under the UV radiation. So it will break into the small, small pieces. So this is so this is because of this people are getting the skin allergies and also UV filter itself is a very small in size in very uh, very few nanometer in size so it can be easily absorbed by our skin so and it creates cell damages and also it disturbs our biological system and also it appears as an opaque white layer on our skin so can, so customers are not ready to use so we are coming with a solution that is a biomass the, we are using the biomass is a plant-based material. The advantage of biomass is a, it has a unique broad range spectrum. It is robust stable under UV radiation and the size of the biomass in micron is size. So it can, it, so it prevents penetrating into the skin and we are using a two percentage of active ingredients in the formulation. So what is the comparison with the marketed product? Our UV filter is a broad range spectrum, means it can absorb all range of UV radiation from the sun. And it is long elastic and it is antioxidant by itself because of the size is a less penetration. We are using 2% of active ingredient. So we are developing biomass based UV filter sunscreen for anti-aging, anti-skin cancer, anti-skin allergics. This UV filter has a unique broad range spectrum, long elastic, antioxidant and antimicrobial activity. Most importantly, the formulation contains 2% of active ingredients. So who are our customers? So those who work outdoor for a long time under the sun, they are our customers. But mainly we are focusing on the women with the age of 18 plus in North India. And... Uh, and the group of customers like athletes, children, people go for a vacation. They are also our customers. So what is the market? So according to the survey, 33% of Indians using the sunscreen in daily basis. So India is a top force globally using the sunscreen. And if you see the last year revenue was 569.2 million US dollars. And it's uh, by 2025 is expected to reach 0 0.01 billion US dollars and is a growth rate 13.73% in each year. So we have a huge competition at the market. Globally, there are 10 big companies are there. And in India, we have a Mammoth, a Biotech and Lotus, Lakme. There are many players. But with respect to biomass UV filter ingredient, there is no competitor at the moment. And uh, what is our go-to-market go strategy? Initially, we wanted to try with the online shopping. So, uh, so we will go with the B2C first. Our USP is chemical free, toxic free UV filter that is uh, biomass based and we will do digital marketing, Insta Rail and YouTube videos. We are targeting the woman plus 18 plus from middle and high class families. What is the roadmap? Now we are working on the SPF and the shelf life of the formulator. We have a formulated product. We are working on the SPF calculation. And uh, next in June and July, we will go for the human trials. Parallel, we will work on writing the patent. So by end of October, we are planning to launch our product. And this is our team. I am the founder and I have a co-founder. He is a scientist at INS Timali. And uh, Miss Jodi Tiwari, she is a key advisor presently, but she is going to be on board very soon. 
as a co-founder. She will take care of the marketing and she will take care of the uh, product design and product launch. And we have a one-on-one -on -one monitoring with uh, Dr. J.K. Harura, ma'am. She is executive director of Punjab State Council of Science and Technology. And what is our ask? We need 50 lakhs funding um, for the product development itself because 50 percent we use for the product uh, scaling up and pilot is for pilot planting and 25 percent we use for the hiring the interns and 25 percent we use for the marketing and uh, thank you so much finally thank you